everybody, it's Taz. Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet. Today, we're gonna discuss 10 reasons why you are so itchy under those wigs and what to do about it. Coming up. I started this channel so that I could share information that would help you along your own wig journey. Some of these things I have experienced and other things that I have seen on various blogs and uh, websites. So I compiled a list of 10 reasons why you might be itchy under that wig. I'll start out with the one that really bothered me as a new wig wearer, and that was an ill-fitting cap. So if you're walking around with a cap that doesn't fit you very well, you're setting yourself up for some itching. So the number one reason why I think people are itching under their caps is because the cap is fitting too tight. When I was a new wig wearer, I felt like the tighter the better, you know, we don't want this wig to pop off, so I'm just gonna crank those adjusters as tight as they can go. That was a big mistake, because what happens is when that cap is really tight around the head, um, it does cause some itching. And additionally, it will cause irritation, it'll cause bumps, that may lead to some breakouts in those areas. You certainly don't want to set yourself up for an infection or you won't be able to wear your wigs at all. Likewise, if it's too big and you aren't getting the proper adjustment and that wig is kind of shifting, anytime you're feeling friction on the cap, it can cause itching. So again, an ill-fitting cap is a big reason why we're itching under our wigs. Either it's too tight or it's too loose. So make sure you have your correct measurements so you know what kind of cap uh, fits you best and make the proper adjustments. The second thing is allergies. So people have a variety of allergies to different things. Um, now, first of all, the fiber on a synthetic wig is made from just different polyesters. And some of you may be allergic to that particular polyester. I've seen ladies that were allergic to one brand of synthetic and not another brand of synthetic. So if you are itching terribly, you might consider the fact that your fibers are the culprit. Maybe you have a little bit of sensitivity to the fibers. So the other thing you can have an allergy to is any products. So if you got along fine with a particular style and then you started to put some uh, styling paste in it or a texturizing spray in it, and then all of a sudden now you're breaking out, you're itching, that product could actually be the culprit. So look for allergies to either fibers or products that you're putting in the wigs. Number three, and this is another one that kind of got me when I was a newer wig wearer, and that's heat and sweating. I remember being out, it was really, really hot that day. And besides that, I was going out, we were meeting and mingling with people. I'm not a huge social person anyway, um, so there's always an element of anxiety there. But anyway, I just started to sweat, it was so hot. And um, all of a sudden then this, this itching broke out, like every little prick of hair into my skin sent goosebumps down my back. Like I just wanted to rip that wig off in front of everybody and run. <laughs> so heat and sweating can actually cause a lot of itching under the cap. I suggest that you wear like a cotton, uh, a cotton liner over your head or hair before you put your cap on. This will have a wicking action to wick away sweat. And uh, believe it or not, even though you're adding a layer, it might actually keep you uh, cool because your skin isn't right up against the cap. They do actually make a very specific product for sweating under your wigs. It's called Headliners or Headline It. I'll have to check and put it up here. Um, but I have seen some reviews on that uh, and apparently it works really, really well. And it's just a, a liner that you've placed uh, over your hair or on your head under the cap and it helps wick away the moisture because heat, sweating, and moisture can make you really itchy under your wig. So number four is permatease. So they're, they're short, thick, stiff, wiry fibers. And if they happen to escape under the cap, instead of going up, they kind of slip through a weft and are irritating your scalp or you know, right where your hairline is, that can be super irritating. I had this happen to me before where um, there was actually um, a little bit of permatease that they took right out to the hairline 
and that permatease was right up next to my skin and it drove me crazy. I itched and itched and itched it. So if you are having some itching under the cap and you are wearing a wig style that has permatease, just flip the cap inside out and make sure that all the permatease is up on the outside of the cap instead of poking inward. So that's definitely something to check. Number five, make sure your natural hair is well secured under the cap because if it's just floating around under that cap, it could uh, end up getting up against your skin right underneath, be trapped under the, uh, the circumference of the cap and start to itch. Again, the movement of that natural hair underneath can cause uh, some friction and some itching. So I suggest maybe a nylon wig cap liner, um, use barrettes, combs, product, anything to secure the hair underneath so it doesn't move around in order to reduce itching under the cap. Number six, glues and adhesives. I don't wear a lot of glues and adhesives, but I know that they can be irritating to the skin. So the adhesive in it uh, can actually irritate the skin a little bit. The same thing with the tape, like the Walker tape and some of the other wig tape products out there. Basically, they're also an adhesive and that can cause some irritation on the skin and subsequent itching. You want to make sure that you wash those products off really well as well. So when you're done with the wig for the day and you're taking off some of that adhesive, make sure you wash both the skin and the cap if you're sensitive because adhesives and glues can definitely cause irritation and itching under your cap. Number seven, a skin rash or irritation or breakout. So if you have hormonal acne, if, um, if you had an, like an injury or an abrasion up near your hairline, this can cause a lot of itching underneath the cap. Anytime your skin is irritated, you're gonna subsequently get itching. So just make sure that if you are experiencing itching, um, that you are checking your hairline, your head, and your face for any kind of abrasions or breakouts that could be causing that. Another thing too is that itching underneath your wig or itching your scalp can cause irritation and cause more itching. So um, the less you itch, the less you're or the less you scratch, the less you're going to itch under the wig. So just check to be sure that you don't have any breakouts, rashes irritations or abrasions in underneath and around the hairline. Number eight, your biological hair, your natural hair underneath the wig, is it dirty? Sometimes when the hair gets dirty uh, after several days without washing it, it can start to clog the little hair follicles um, and cause some irritation. Even product buildup on your natural hair can get in there and start to cause some irritation. I know that um, if I go a couple of days, my head starts to itch a little bit. Um, even if I don't have a wig on, I'm kind of itchy just because the hair needs washed. So if that could be a culprit if you're experiencing some itching underneath your wig cap. Number nine, don't put a wig on with damp natural hair underneath. Um, think about it. If you get caught out in the rain and your clothes get wet, if they start to get itchy and irritating against the skin. That's the same thing that's happening with your natural hair. Because if your natural hair is damp, wet or damp, and you apply a wig right away, that's really gonna cause some itching and irritation under there. So make sure that your natural hair is completely dry before applying your wig. Number 10, and this is my favorite for all of you brand new wig wearers out there, uh, and that's what I like to call phantom itching. It takes a while to get used to the sensation of having something on your head all the time. Um, your focus is drawn to it. I itched a lot. I was adjusting. I was itching. I was running to the mirror to check. It's just a matter of getting used to the sensation of the wig on your head. Anytime you're wearing something on your head for the first time, uh, shoes for the first time. Remember when you got braces for the first time? there's an adjustment period to getting used to it. So I really feel like phantom itching is a thing out there, <laughs> especially like I said, for new wig wearers or somebody who is insecure or self-conscious going out in their wigs, I think you're more likely to feel the itching because you're focused 
on whatever it is on your head. So if you've looked at this little ten, list of 10 things that are causing itching under your wig and you can't figure it out, it could be phantom itching. And so I would beg you just to distract yourself. Wear that wig and distract yourself. Have a conversation with someone. Put that wig out of your mind and that itching is likely to go away. So I really hope this was helpful to you. Please leave me some feedback in the comments. It's been my pleasure to be in front of you today. It's always an honor to be a part of your wig journey. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.